Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Right now, I'm on my way up to Crystal Beach to the farmer's market event. As you guys know, I was helping the farmer's market people set up for the event today. Uh, got tables and chairs and helped Keith get his uh, all his goods and baked goods and stuff like that uh, hauled over there. So, got that done. Everything should be pretty much set up because each individual vendor I believe comes and sets up their own booth but I I help set up all the tables and chairs uh, just to help them out I'm not even part of the farmers market committee but I still wanted to help out because they're just great people uh, the lady that runs it she's so nice uh, she's just a wonderful person so that's the least I could do was help out with that but yeah right now I'm heading up there uh, I asked her if I could help again. She said, yeah, I could help from, I could come at night between 9 and 10 a.m. Right now it's 8.36, so I figure I'll be a little bit early, but I, I want to be on time, and if I'm a little early, that's all right, so I just want to help the farmer's market out as much as I can, the local farmer's market. Like I said, great people, uh, everyone that I've interacted with from the farmer's market been associated with the farmer's market have all been nice and treated me with respect and yeah I think it's just a great deal but yeah I'm heading up there to the Crystal Beach Fairgrounds Event Center whatever you want to call it everyone calls it something different it's the Event Center it's Building A Building B uh, <laughs> Fairgrounds whatever you want to call it but it is at Crystal Beach Park so I'll head up there and bring you guys along for it. Hope you guys have a good day. God bless. Hey everybody, I made it out here. Keith says he needs coffee. He needs that coffee. You're going to get roasted with roasted coffee. Roasted. Coffee. Yeah, roasted. Get roasted. Cream and sugar if you want no. Nope. He's a plain guy. Well, I'm back. Hey everybody, I got the sign set up in front of the kitchen here so I just put it on the board here with a couple thumbtacks hey everybody just visiting with Keith here for a little bit he's set up at his booth here and everybody's pretty much here and set up uh, yeah there's quite a few vendors here hey everybody just want to get you guys up to date here I'm helping with the concessions uh, serving some stuff serving some coffee so yeah I'm helping volunteering here behind the concession stand so it's a pretty good time but I'm gonna get back to it wash my hands real quick and get right back to it hey everybody just want to give you guys a little update here we've been serving quite a bit uh, some bowls of chicken and noodles a couple bowls of ham and beans and we sold a lot of homemade beer ox so I'm gonna get back to it wash my hands God bless Hey everybody, just wanted to give you guys another update here. We've been selling a lot, a lot of beer ox. By far the most popular thing has been the beer ox. So I'm actually about to get two more prepared for another customer. I've been really enjoying volunteering here for the farmer's market for the concessions. It's just awesome. I'm so blessed to be able to do this. God bless. Yep, the beer ox, the homemade beer ox have been by far the most popular. Hey everybody, just wrapping it up here at the Christmas Bazaar event for the Farmer's Market out at the Crystal Beach Event Center, Fairgrounds, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just got done, as you guys know, and as you guys seen, I was helping in the kitchen, helping with the concession stands, uh, selling some chili, chicken and noodles, uh, beer ox, by far the most popular is the beer ox, and some ham and beans coffee water stuff like that so got done with that i really enjoyed it uh, i'm glad that i was able to help i'm blessed that i was able to help and volunteer for that it means a lot to me like i said i can't say it enough the folks at the farmer's market they deserve it because they're great people they're so nice each and every one of them that i've interacted with and and met so yeah i'm gonna head home and figure out what else i'm gonna do for the rest of the day and uh, we'll uh, go
catch up with you guys when I can. God bless. Hey everybody, just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, I made it home. I'm heating some lunch up right now in the microwave. I'm actually really hungry. I haven't had a chance to eat today yet because I've been very busy helping with the concessions. I helped from about 9 a.m. to about 2 p.m. So not too long, but I did everything that I could for them. The concession stand was really slowing down by the time I headed out of there and there was no use of having three people in the kitchen including me so the other two guys just stayed behind and and they said they had it handled so that'll work and yeah it was just a great time helping out and volunteering but I'm gonna eat me some lunch because I am hungry I'm gonna try this Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Major Melon here see what it tastes like let you guys know I just seen it at the store when I was doing some grocery shopping so thought it looked interesting It tastes like Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Made. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that again. You guys know the joke if you watch some of my short videos, but. Tastes pretty good. Nice melon flavor. Yeah, I've filmed a few short videos in the past just for fun. And it was just a joke video. Like, I would get any drink or any type of like milk or water or whatever or any kind of soda. And I'd be like saying that it tastes just like exactly what it is it's kind of i don't know it's just kind of funny so i like take a drink of the drink and say hmm got to think about it get another drink it tastes like mountain dew zero sugar major melon so i don't know just kind of those funny videos goofing off hopefully some people got a laugh out of those matter of fact i just filmed one of those videos right now <laughs> So hopefully it does well. Hopefully people get a laugh out of it or a smile. That's all that matters to me. But anyways, got my lunch ready here. I'm about to devour it. I am very, very hungry. Hey, everybody. Uh, came back up here to the Farmer's Market Christmas Bazaar. I'm going to help Keith as much as I can. I know he has some to pack up, so see what I can do to help him. Hey, everybody. Just helping Keith here get some of the stuff packed up. I just want to... Help as much as I possibly can. I helped Keith tear down his setup. He had some things left over, so I helped him load his truck. Now I'm uh, meeting him back at his house so I can help him unload the stuff. So it's not so hard on him. I always want to try and help Keith out where I can because he's just such a great friend. And yeah, you can't beat the friendship. He is just an awesome human being. So I'll uh, catch up with you guys when we get back to Keith's house.
everybody got done helping Keith. We uh, got everything finished for tonight anyways. Uh, glad I got to help him out. I know he definitely appreciates it. And I know that he uh, definitely needed it. Needed the help. Because, yeah, trying to do that on your own would be miserable. And I definitely want wouldn't want to be the one to do it on my own. So, But I'm going to head home and relax a little bit. Uh, kind of been a busy day for me uh, volunteering with the concession stand first thing this morning and I went home as you guys seen and I uh, ate some lunch I actually took a little nap it wasn't a very long nap but I definitely needed it and got that accomplished then I went back out there and helped Keith load up and go back to his house and unload and we hung out for a little bit talked for a little bit talked about some plans for videos the upcoming week and yep we got a lot accomplished this week I'm pretty happy about it pretty satisfied uh, I love volunteering but it does get to be a lot when it's sequential back to back to back to back volunteering doing stuff but it's all worth it if I can help out friends and help out anybody really it just warms my heart and I don't ever want to pat on the back. I don't want to pat myself on the back. I don't want to toot my own horn. I never want to do that. I'm a humble person. I'm not arrogant at all. I, that's one thing I never, never want to be is arrogant because I think there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Hey everybody, I'm freshly showered. Uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like if you can. Uh, God bless you guys. Peace be with you.